Well, hello everybody. Don't you just hate Mondays? It's been a rough one. Well, after a day like this, I sometimes just want to not do a whole lot. Just curl up on the couch and have a glass of wine and maybe watch a movie. My wife agrees. It's kind of been a rough one today. So she's picking up some takeout right now and we're going to make it a movie Monday. That should lift our spirits. I think I just heard the garage door. I'd better go pour some wine while she changes. Oh, you look cute. Thank you. You look your jammies. Thank you. So that guy is Darcy in this, and he's Darcy in that other movie as well? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he smiled way too big for that. <laughs> it's actually do by some terrible chance end up in for Grande. Surely these would be most attractive at Crucial Moment. However, chances of reaching Crucial Moment greatly increase by wearing these. Scary stomach holding in paddies, very popular with Grande. I totally understand that. hard-headed journalist, ruthlessly committed to promoting justice and liberty. Nothing can distract me from my dedication to the pursuit of truth. Well, woman. Mm -hmm. Never too old to learn something new. Mine says, never let an opportunity pass you by. <laughs> well, that was totally fun again. Um, not my favorite movie of all time, but it was entertaining, I guess. Um, so my wife picked out Bridget Jones' Diary, and I know why she picked it, because as a guy, I've said I would never watch a movie with the term um, diary in the title. It totally screams chick flick. So my wife knew her husband would never watch it, but she knew that her good friend Heidi would watch it with her. Well, it was, it was mildly entertaining. It was a typical chick flick. Um, maybe it's special because the actress Renee Zellweger has to choose between Colin Firth, and the other guy that's in all the chick flicks, um, Hugh Grant. So she has to choose between those two guys, and I guess that's like every girl's dream. You kind of know who the good guy is, and you have to figure out. The movie is about how she winds up with the good guy. It's a British movie, and I really struggle with British movies, mostly because of the accent. And luckily, at one point, my wife turns on the closed captions so that I could read the dialogue, even if I couldn't understand it. I stink so bad at accents. 
Um, so we watched the movie. Uh, the other thing I don't like about British movies, uh, <laughs> several things actually. One is that every British movie has at least three or four Harry Potter characters in it, or actors or actresses. Um, this one did as well. Um, I guess there's only like 12 actors in all of Great Britain, and so they have to kind of mix them in the same, in different, char in different roles in different movies. Love you guys from England, but that's true though. That is really the way it is. So there's several Harry Potter characters in there, which is always fun to pick them out. That could be a good drinking game. Um, also, that every British movie has to have a character from the U.S., and this one did as well. I'm not sure why. Seems like a... I don't know. I'll let you decide why that is. But it was just fun watching the movie with my wife and feeling pretty and seeing her have a good time with Heidi. Yeah, it's not romantic, but not every day can be romantic. It's, it's nice to be her girlfriend. And she likes it. She's like feels like she's making out a deal. Hey, that's always good. Well, anyway, I'm so glad that she's enjoying this. And we've talked about others that we can do in the future. So I think we're going to keep doing these. And thanks for coming along for the ride. Um, I hope this helped brighten up your Monday. See you on Friday. Have a great week, everybody.